Children's Web Network with news from around the corner. Hi, I'm Jamie Martinez. This week's top stories interview our field reporter, Alex, investigating the lunch table problem at Will Rogers Elementary School in Santa Monica. The problem is the students are no longer able to sit with their friends. They have to sit with kids only in their class. This is making the kids very upset. Here's Alex. Thanks, Erica. Hi. I'm Alex Smith here interviewing Ms. Novak on the lunch table problem. So, Ms. Novak, was it your idea to have every kid sit with their class only? Yes, it was absolutely my idea. How did you get the idea? Well, um, I used to work at different schools, and um, I felt that um, last year when I was here, it, it seemed a little chaotic. And I thought that by um, instituting something that I had experienced that worked really well, um, that that was something that we wanted to try here at Will Rogers. So you think it's a good program? I think it's a good program, but I wanted to tell you about something that we're going to institute too that, that um, we haven't introduced yet. And I'm hoping that Student Council can help us with this. This used to be um, a cafeteria card that, we, that I used at another school. And um, it's it's um, where you get points, you earn points. And so classes get points for how they line up, how they're eating, so if they're, you know, making sure they're not throwing food or, you know, um, grabbing things off people's tray. And then they get points for cleanup, and they get points for bonus, so anything um, um, that they might do extra to be helpful in the cafeteria. And then we had, we used to have awards, so part of the awards would be who would win the cafeteria award. And then there was things like extra, like they might get um, ice cream that month. Or maybe Mrs. Novak or Mrs. Lyons comes in and does a special art lesson. Or something um, that, would, that kids would enjoy so that we're all working together to make the cafeteria cleaner, quieter, Everybody's taking responsibility. Do you think that after all this is instituted, you'll be able to mix classes together and be able to do that afterwards? Well, we're kind of still thinking about it because one of the rewards might be if a class wins that award for the month, maybe they could be the ones that get to mix in and those kinds of things. And that's why we really wanted student council to be a part of this because students are in student council and that they could kind of help think through some of these things. Thank you. That was Miss Novak on the lunch table problem. I'm Alex Smith. You're interviewing Angela Berkman on the lunch table problem. So Angela, what is your opinion on the lunch table? I really don't like it because you can't sit with your friends at lunch. Do you think it has served its purpose in making the cafeteria quieter and a better place to eat? Not really, because you still talk, just not to your friends. So you think in all the program is a lose-lose situation? Yes. Thanks, Angela. Now back to Jamie and Erica. Thanks, Alex. Here's Raver Rodriguez with the special events. Hi, this is Raver Rodriguez with the special events. The costumes that are popular every year are witches and vampires. With the success of Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates are in. This is River Rodriguez with your special event. See ya! Thanks, Reva! Here's Shay Bond with the sports. Hello, everybody. I'm Shea Bond. Welcome back to Sports Update. This is a time of year almost most sports fans have been waiting for. The Fall Classic, the 2006 World Series between the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Detroit Tigers, a rematch of the 1968 World Series. With the start of the NBA season is just around the corner, I will tell you who has the best team and who makes the playoffs and who will make the, who will be the MVP. Now back to Erica and Jamie. Here we go with another one of our favorites, Smith. It prowls around the night. It will scare you to death. It's the cat with orange eyes, Smith. Dun, dun, dun. It will scare you like fire. You better be careful at night. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round to crash around the corner. Here's Raven Rodriguez with the Halloween weather. 
Looks like we'll have mostly clear and sunny skies this Halloween, so you ghosts and goblins won't have to wear your rain slippers. The high will be 63 degrees, and the low will be 54. Remember to wear something light or glows in the dark, as the sun will set at 5 or 5 p.m. See ya! Thanks, Rava! Be sure to vote for Kelly Pye on November 7th for School Board. This is Erica Lopez and Jamie Martinez from the Children's Web Network with your news from around the corner.